Hey guys, it's Dylan, and um, this is going to be more of a uh, vlog type video. Um, I've been watching a few videos about uh, MDE getting tattoos, and I'm like, you know, that that makes me an that that makes me an idea. That gives me an idea of like doing a small little vlog about a tattoo that I want to get. Now, I'm only 16, and my uh, stepfather said, you know, the one that got me the piercing and stuff like that, he said that I'm not allowed to get a tattoo until I'm 18, and you know that I have to buy it myself and, you know, stuff like that. Now, I've talked to um, several of the people that I know, like, you know, adult authority figures type things that are looked towards as, like, family type people, um, and um, I'm not going to say my aunt or uncle, but... Uh, uh, close friends with my parents, I guess I'll say. Um, I I'm sorry, I say I'm, lot, I'm trying to think. Uh, their, uh, their rule for the whole, like, tattoo thing is, you buy the first one, and I'll buy the second one. Which is, you know, uh, w w which is a good idea, considering how it's more of a, you know, it's your first, it's, it's something you want, and you bought it with your own money. It's, um, like, like, if any of you guys are teenagers or anything like that, um, and your parent, your parents buy you stuff, like, all the time, and you take it for granted, grant, granted, grant it, granted, there we go, and you take it for granted, um, but when you buy something yourself, you, like, care for it, like, that much more, like, okay, nothing's gonna touch this whatsoever, so, I mean, I'm just going to use this as an, ex as an example. Um, a Rubik's Cube. Nobody uses Rubik's Cubes anymore. But, uh... Why did I do that? This is so going to bother me now. Th this is really going to bother me. I I'm so sorry. This, this is going to bother me. I I'm going to do that at the end. Cause that's going to bother me. I barely did anything. And if I can't figure out how to do it, it's going to bother me. Or, not how to do it, but, like, you know, like, redo the steps. It's gonna, like, really bother me. Um, so, anyway, I'm gonna, like, use this as an, ex as an example. If your parents bought you this, you'll... You do all this stupid stuff. You chuck it at a wall. I'm not gonna do that, because I'm smart. But, um... I mean, I still do this, because why not? However, but if you, um... However, if you bought it yourself, then, you know, you wouldn't be doing this. Like, especially if it was a phone. I mean, you wouldn't be doing that with the phone anyway. But, like, you know, I'm just saying, you know, you take things, uh, oops, stuff like that. You take things that your parents bought you for granted when you really shouldn't. And, um, but when you buy it yourself, you actually, you know, take more care of it. You, you actually, you know, look after it as if it was one of your own. I say that like that for some reason. I don't know. Perfect. Sorry, like I said, it, it's really gonna bother me. Um, so yeah, you would um, you would use, you would get something from your parents, and if um, and if you're not mature enough, you don't realize it. You just start, you know, throwing it around. You get upset. You chuck it at the wall. However, if you buy it yourself, then you're like gonna be like taking care of it. Like, okay, nobody's touch, nobody touches this. Like, I'm just gonna be giving an, uh, another example. Like, um, like, I have a, um, I have the Elucidator, uh, Kirito's Sword from SAO, um, and my stepfather bought that for $80, now, like, I'm very, like, protective now, like, people are just like, hey, can I see it, and I'm like, yeah, you can look at it all you like, but you're not touching it, because I'm not stupid, um, but, you know, like, you, you take that, if your parents bought that for you, and you take things, um, you take things from them for granted, you're just like, oh, yeah, sure, take it, mess around with it, do whatever you like, and, you know, it can end up broken, that's metal, so it's not really gonna end up broken that much, um, but if you buy it yourself, then you're just like, you hear that too, right, um, <laughs> But if you buy it yourself, then then you're more just along the lines of no, I don't really want it broken or anything. So yeah, that's basically that's basically what I think they mean by the whole you know you buy the first one, I buy the second one because it's your tattoo. You're the one that gets to 
you know, you care for it that much more. It's something that you really want. You're not gonna get something, you're not gonna get something stupid like just do it um, tattooed if you buy it because it's, some, it's supposed to be something meaningful. Tattoos are there, they stay there. You're defacing your skin and, you know, it, it may cost about 500 bucks to get a tattoo only like this big. But it'll take thousands of dollars and like eight, nine, even 20, I guess. I don't know like the actual number, but like about like 10 or so um, surgeries, which are about like, you know, thousand, like a thousand dollars or something. Um, I don't, like I said, I don't know the real logistics um, to get it removed. And that's just slowly taking it away. So it's five hundred dollars for something permanent on your skin, and that will be thousands of dollars to take it off. So if you get something that you don't like and you like want to take it off, it costs a lot more than just getting it put on and keeping it there. That's why when you get a tattoo, you want to make sure that's something that you really want that you're not going to change your mind afterwards. Now, um, now my stepfather has a saying, which I'm holding him to this for the next year and a uh, year and a half it's uh two more months and it'll be a year and a half but i'm just gonna say a year and a half um i'm gonna be holding this to him for the next year and a half because he said uh last year like the year before you know he he he, oh, he um blah. his sense in all of this is if you have the same idea from right now when you get older i will buy that for you and i'm like Cool, I've wanted this for the past two years, I'll want it for the next two years. Um, because I have this one photo that, um, that I don't think, because I got a, um, a new phone because my old one broke. Um, it wasn't my fault. Let's say this, my mother hit my arm and it flew out of my hand. Alright. Sorry, my mother texted me. Um, I'm not sure if he'll say when I was, when this was taken. Oh, hey, it, um, keeps it cool. Um, it hasn't even been a year yet. Damn. Anyway, um, I drew this pic, I, I drew this, um, in June of last year, which, uh, which will be about, it'll be a little over a month before it's an entire year old. Now, whenever I, like, first saw this, I'm like, oh my god, this is so cool, I want it to be my tattoo. And, um, and he said, like, sure, that can be your tattoo if you still want it when you're 18. Meaning that I can't change. I mean, I've seen a lot of, like, smaller tattoos that I think would be more reasonable because it would hurt less, it would cost less, and it's something much more, um, much more invisible. Like, if I get something, like, just across the wrist right here. Well, I'm actually going to do it on this arm, maybe. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Um... But, you know, if I get, like, just a word, just, like, probably an ambigram of, like, love and hate and something like that, where, basically, where, um, I don't know, just, it just, I, I'm just gonna say, like, you know, I'll get, like, love, uh, tattooed on there, or my name, or stuff like that, um, you know, it'd be only, it would be only, like, that big, like, uh, that thick, that wide, um, it'd just be, like, right across my wrist, just, like, right there, that's about, that's about it. Um, since uh, since tattoos go by hours, um, I don't know if it'll be like a hundred plus dollars an hour, but I don't think I don't think uh, in order to do that small thing, it'll take much longer after an hour. So I'm just gonna say that'll be about hundred, one hundred dollars just for that right here. Now, if you were to imagine a um, a tattoo that's not covering the entire arm, but has like coverage of the entire arm, that would be. That would take forever, probably more than just one session, and would cost a lot more. Um, which is how I wanted my tattoo. What I actually did for this, uh, for this tattoo idea is I would board out of my mind, and I decided to take a Sharpie, and I drew a heart right about here. I drew a heart, I drew a cracked heart with a lock in the middle, and I drew veins coming out now this is now of course when I go and ask for um for my tattoo to be done it's not going to be done pinpoint to how I have it but it's going to look something let me just turn up my brightness it's going to look something like that I don't know if you'll be able to see it let me turn down my maybe it's the brightness yeah so it'll look something like that now um, personally that looks pretty cool 
I hope uh, a lot of you guys are able to or think that it's cool as well. But um, basically all it is is a heart which is veins coming out of the heart going all the way up and down the arm. Now I don't know where I'm going to get this placed. I'm probably going to get it placed where, where I drew it which is just going to be on the forearm type thing. Um, but I'm probably going to have it um, done on my left arm. Um, mainly for the fact that I'm a lefty and I, um, and I draw on my arm a lot and I don't want to take that away and I don't want to draw on top of the uh, tattoo out of fear of like messing it up or anything like that or you know just not being able to read what I wrote because like I constantly draw my arm I haven't done anything recently but I like constantly draw my actually I have done something recently I drew my name on my left arm like to see if I could do it with my right hand um and that's about it I kind of have some sharpie residue on my shirt um, so I'm probably getting it, like, right here on my left arm, get the heart here, veins going all around the arm. It wouldn't just be on the front face, it would actually be, like, going wrapped around and stuff like that. Um, I may get, I may ask for the veins to, like, spell out my name or something. Um, you know, just for, like, a little smaller, finer detail, um, type thing. And, of course, it's not going to look just like that. I'm going to see if I can get it, uh, looking more realistic or 3D or, you know, something like that. Um, but I don't really know. I guess I'll have to, like, look up some examples because a tattoo artist can't do it without, you know, an example or, you know, something based off of or you're just wasting a lot of tracing paper. Um, so, yeah, that's my tattoo idea. Um, if you guys want to comment some of yours, I'd be, um, I'd be happy to hear. Um... So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys uh, liked the video. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. It doesn't really matter to me. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.